Let me ask you a question: How many of you think that AI will pass the entrance examination of a top university by 2020? And others may say, "No, never."、Mm-mm. So this is our Toda robot. It is now writing 600 words essay on maritime trade in the 17th century. To enter Todai, the University of Tokyo, you have to pass two different types of exams. The first one is a national standardized test in multiple choice style. You have to take seven subjects and achieve high score. I would say like. 84 percent or more accuracy rate to be allowed to take the second stage written test prepared by Todai. Our Todai robot works similarly, but a bit smarter in answering to history yes/no questions. For the second stage written test, it is required to write 600 words essay like this one. And as I have shown earlier, our robot took the sentences from the textbooks and Wikipedia, combined them together, and optimized it to produce an essay without understanding a thing. <laughs> But it surprisingly, it wrote a better essay than most of the students. <laughs> How about mathematics? Probably. This is the most fun part for the machine. <laughs> really, now it output a perfect answer, though its proof is impossible to read, even for mathematicians. <laughs> anyway, last year, our robot was among top one percent, one percent, in the second stage written exam in mathematics. <laughs> This is the distribution graph of a half a million students who took the same exam as Todai Robot. Now our Todai Robot is among top 20 percent, and it was capable to pass more than 60 percent of the universities in Japan. How on earth could this unintelligent machine outperform students, our children, right? I decided to investigate what was going on in the human world. I took hundreds of sentences from the te- high school textbooks, and made easy multiple choice quizzes, and asked thousands of high school students to answer. And Todai Robot chose the correct answer. One third of junior high school students failed to answer to this question. Do you think it is only the case in Japan? I do not think so, because Japan is always ranked among the top in OECD PISA test, measuring 15-year-old students' performance in mathematics, science, and reading every three years. We have been believing that everybody can learn, and learn well. As long as we provide good learning materials, we have to think in a hurry, because time is running out. But do, do I read you right that you think that we really need quite an urgent revolution in education、mm-hmm. to help kids do the things that humans can do better yes, than AI? Yes, yes, yes. Because you know we humans can't understand the meaning. That is something which is very, very lacking in AI. But、uh, most of the students just pack the knowledge without understanding the meaning of the knowledge. So that is not knowledge; that is just memorizing. And AI can do the same thing. So we have to think about a new type of education. A shift from knowledge, rote knowledge, to meaning.、Mm-hmm. Well, there's a challenge for the educators here. Nuruka, thank you so、oh, much. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Yeah.